Hello, friends. Have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets? What marvelous beings might exist out there, hands extended in friendship, awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space? What tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars? All systems go, General. Four. Come on, baby, show us what you got. Three. What the hell? Two. What in the blue blazes is that? One. No, wait, stop the countdown. Incompetent fool. I should never have sent you. What's shaking, Pox? You look a little, what's the word, constipated. <sighs> Let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. You lost me. Shall I tell you a secret? Few of our people know this. But the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. That's bad, right? Only if we want to retain our immortality through cloning. Of course it's bad! I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. But I lost contact. Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him. Crypto-136 to a hostile planet, and he's disappeared. Maybe captured, maybe even being tortured as we speak. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusion. I bet you wouldn't. Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought, and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. Which? The second one. Perhaps you're right, 137. Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta go in. We gotta crack some craniums. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, we gotta... I gotta... Brains, man. When do I get to blow things up? Patience, Crypto. Patience. I take your point. Prepare the mothership. That's what I'm talking about. So, what's the name of this crummy planet? Our destination. The planet Earth.
Orthopox to Cryptosporidium 137. Come in, Cryptosporidium. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto! To ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactatings are likely candidates. Surely you don't mean those foul-smelling gas bags beyond the fence. Yes, I'm afraid I do. But they're covered in nipples. Now, Cryptosporidium! Crypto, do verify your suit is working under Earth's atmospheric conditions. Get a move on! We can peer into the minds of lower life forms via the cortex scan. Rip the preliterate thoughts from their pathetic little brains! Moo? Primitive, yet profound. Scan another one. Again with the moo? I think these lactating bovoids are trying to fool us. They eat with their mouths? Ugh, I think I'm to be violently ill. Attention, Earth creatures. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. At this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? Ah. Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. I don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. We neurons have evolved the astounding power of psychokinesis crypto. Target an object or creature and lift it into the sky. Use PK to finish off the belligerent bovines. Slam them into the ground. Curse these creatures. Crypto! Mmm, Martha! You didn't tell me we was having barbecue for dinner? Wait a minute! Steak? That's... Holy Mother... Martha! Give me the shotgun! This looks like a job for the Zapomatic! Fry that farmer! Extract and collect the brainstem from what's left of the app. You can consume the brainstem and collect the Furon DNA. Harold, come on back. You gotta see this. They got a talking horse on the TV. I ain't never seen nothing like... I'm not green. You pissed him off. Be merciless. Let none survive. Ah, the 
Hold it! Excellent! Work, Victor! Ah. Oh, wonder what... Evening, Ms. Turnip Seed. We got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. Little green spaceman! What oh, is that? A new silo? Electrocuted him with a big old crypto! That human law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those pea brains were to get their hands on your quantum deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space-time continuum! Boo oh, the Furonity! Vaporize them, Crypto! Been told. I don't know. Joe McCarthy's good as gold. Joe McCarthy's good as gold. Oh, great. The human military industrial complex. We can't allow them to alert their leaders to our presence. Exterminate them. Now! Open fire! Crypto, I hereby give you official permission to destroy all. There are more to the north in the bushes. Replenish your saucy shields by draining any human being.
Did you see what I saw? You bet your sweet ass I did. What did you see? Little green man in a flying saucer wiping out the best infantry unit in the U.S. Army. Right. Good. Me too. Green? Not gray? Don't be a stiff. You know what it means? Absolutely. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. The eggheads were actually onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it. Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on. Now then, I know what you're thinking. What can I, a lowly novice, do to help bring about the destruction of Earth and the inevitable reign of the Furon Empire? Well, I'll tell you. It was in the earliest days of the Empire we realized our species was doomed. Eons of waging war on inferior races with unregulated atomic weaponry had mutated our genes. We could not propagate due to our complete and utter lack of genitalia. Fortunately, a Furon ship happened upon Earth on its way back from destroying the Martians. Human society was young and nubile. Sailors on a foreign planet letting off steam. Story short, every human being alive today has buried deep in his genetic code a strand of Furon DNA. Oh ourselves, but with each iteration the information degrades, and the results are increasingly unpredictable. The Furon genes in humanity's DNA are ancient, uncorrupted. They represent the future of the Furon race. If only we can get at them. Crypto! That human is aware of your presence. The more people become aware of you, the more chance that those human policemen and the military will come to investigate you and take you down. Don't forget to disguise yourself, Crypto. Now that you're sufficiently disguised, continue using the Cortex Scan to maintain the illusion. You wouldn't want to lose concentration while surrounded by enemies. Clearly, the best test of a viable presidential candidate is, do I want to invite him over for a barbecue? Bring it on, bad guys. I'm going all Joe Friday. What we need is the dumbest, weakest-willed, most malleable human we can find. Admittedly, the competition will be fierce. You just have to scan them all. Man, oh man, she might be the dumbest Miss Rockwell ever. And check out them cantaloupes. <laughs> God, I love America. This human seems to be onto something. Will wonders never cease. Keep scanning the humans. Ugly looking. I'm queen. Finally, I was gonna flip my lid if Mama made me take one more slurp of cabbage soup. I want roast chicken. Mmm, chicken of the sea. Or was it by the sea?
All right, Crypto. I've analyzed all the thoughts you've collected, and I think I've isolated the perfect subject for you to... Probe and vaporize? No. Abduct and bring back to the mothership. My way's more fun. Abduct, not vaporize. Okay, but humanity ain't gonna annihilate itself, all I'm saying. Can I finish? Can I stop you? As I was saying, the newly crowned Miss Rockwell looks like a prime candidate for testing. She's envied and desired by other humans. She's highly persuadable. Best of all, she apparently has a brain the size of a peanut. Hypnotize her and send her back to your ship for collection. Implant a command on a puny human brain. Bend its will to ours. I want to thank all the little people, but there's no time. Gotta go! But I don't think it was apple seeds! <laughs> now that you're all here, I'd like to say, uh, please stay in your homes. Hmm, guess I was imagining things. Vice President Nixon's the greatest American who ever lived. Not like that slimy President Huffman. Which way's the exit? We ought to go organic. Wait a minute, what kind of pink man am I? Enjoy the fair! Oh, and don't ride the mangler! It's a freaking death trap! Wonder how they get him to talk? Magic oats or something. Every time I go in that barn, all I can think about is Jane Russell in the hay. Va-boom! Must. Keep. Going. Feet. Killing. Me. Damn. Heels. Wait! I left my purse in the tent. Chicken, that is. Damn, I love that animal. I must go to the dark and mysterious woods. There's no reason to be afraid. Nothing bad ever happens to people who go into dark and mysterious woods. Especially not in fairy tales or slasher films. Not that I know what those are. Nope, nothing to worry about. I don't remember parking here. Of course, I can't ever remember where I parked. My car seems bigger and rounder and saucer shaped. <gasps> La 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 And lots of wavy hair like Libra Wait a minute Where am I? This sure doesn't look like the pie eating contest Uh oh Uh oh What's happening? Oh God please no it's probing time. Oh, yeah, right there. That's the spot. Oh, that is delicious. Never fails. Hurry, Crypto! The authorities are on their way! Get in your saucer! Wreak havoc by using your saucer's abducto beam to levitate a creature or object. Eat pork, biatch! Spike! 
Nice invaders! Crypto! Those nearby bovoids appear to have been genetically manipulated by the humans. But for what purpose? I want you to investigate this bizarre mutated species. Brains! Brains? Healthy green glow? Those human fools! Clearly they've genetically altered these pathetic gas bags and turned them into radioactive exploding zombie cows! Show them the folly of their mad science! Alpha male? Where did he come from? Never mind that! You must stop him before he publicly reveals your existence. Go to this town hall and take the alpha male's place to address the pea-brained masses. He is a pussy. Now, John Wayne, that's a man's man. What would Elliot Ness do? Never carry a knife. A restricted area. How droll. Crypto, the charming security at this town hall won't let you in without a jacket. Use hollow arm to keep standards up, will you? Or go over pile. I don't get to shoot somebody soon, I'm gonna go out of my mind. 
Margito! The gathering is already in progress. But before we deal with these pitchfork pumps, we need to find the Alpha Man. No, Crypto! Now the humans know you're here. Back to the mothership with you. Smiling. Only three. Crypto! The gathering is already in progress! But before we deal with these pitchfork connoisseurs, we need to find the Alpha Male. It's him! The Mayor! Now use Hypnoblast to distract the Latin surrounding him! Adley Smadley! That guy's a... That's President Nixon's the greatest of my... Man, that talking horse on TV's a hoot! Wonder how they get him to talk? Magic oats or something? Stage. Break a leg, Mayor Crypto. Assure them that everything is normal. No monkey business. That is, only monkey business as usual. The success. Every one of the dang cows, then it looked like it stuck some sort of device up the poor thing. Crap, trap, and after all that, I didn't even get to see Miss Rockwell. She just walked right on by with her crops laid out flat in circles like a Fourth of July pinwheel. I told Edgar, there goes our savings, no new shoes for the twins, and I guess Darlene's just gonna have to live another year with that overbite. Greetings, fellow human agricultural engineers. There is nothing going on here. Everything is normal. Carry on with your pathetic human lives. That is all. Now, wait just a cotton-picking minute. Mr. Mayor, I've lived in this town all my life, and I voted for you twice in the last election. Now, I'm entitled to a goddamn answer. If there ain't nothing going on here, how come all my cows is glowing like lightning bugs? What you say to that, Whipper Snapper? That? Well, that's just the uh, healthy inner glow that comes from chewing a, a cud of fresh green Rockwell grass. Why, I uh, chew it myself all the time. Got some in my craw right now. Better than snuff. You want to know what's been going on around here? I'll tell you what's been going on around here. Communism, that's what. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm not willing to see the land our forefathers fought and died for fall under the boot of the creeping red menace. Not on my watch. So, uh, the next time you see a strange light moving and changing direction at incredible speed in the night sky, you would uh, just think to yourself, no commie's gonna distract me from my patriotic duty with a couple of bottle rockets. No, sir. Now, wait just a second. How in the world does any of that explain the destruction at the fair? Don't you read the papers? That the cluster point was a tragic confluence of the summer lightning and the tent slathered in creosote. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Well now, hold on. How come nobody in Santa Modeste has been seeing anything like this?
Because we are real Americans and they are not. Next. So, as you can see, there's nothing to trouble your puny human brains about. The mayor's right. This was all just a random series of suspiciously coincidental yet easily rationalized events. Yeah, that's right. Give it up. Let's hear it for me. Suckers. Good night and uh, have a pleasure tomorrow. What a bunch of losers. Minds like mud. This planet is easy pickings. Crypto! Did you hear what that human said during your speech? Must have missed it. Busy digging on the love. Focus! There's another human hive nearby. Santa Modesta, he called it. You must discover its location and make your way there. We've got more humans to control. <laughs> 